To show you how to use this crochet ring here i finally received it it took forever i'm going to show you how to put this ring on i had to actually watch a video real quick just to see how to wrap the yarn around so i'm going to show you how to do that and i'm going to slow it down really slow so that you can see how the ring works when you're crocheting with it so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and slip it onto your finger Normally, it would be your pointer finger. Now, naturally, the ring is going to twist a little bit because um, when you begin to crochet, it's going to um, give it a little bit of, um, what's the word, um, a little bit of, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't think of the word right now, but I want to show you how to put that on. A little bit of slack, that's the word. So I'm going to show you how to put that on. So naturally, this piece is coming from your skein. Um, go ahead and put it around the, I don't know what you want to call that, the bud or the feather, whatever you want to call it. And then go ahead and bring it around the head. And slide it up under there. It should go right around. Now you can't use multiple pieces of yarn. So I have to take away a point for that. But other than that, it works perfect. So when you grab your project, you know, like normal, you have to get used to not wrapping the yarn around your finger, that type of thing. Um, but once you get there, you want to go ahead and pull it just a little bit so you can get a little bit closer. Make sure that your lead yarn is in the palm of your hand it's not wrapped around or anything like that because it's going to naturally flow so go ahead and begin making your stitches and as i said it's going to naturally turn to the side or you can just turn it yourself just a little bit and then go ahead and just crochet so but if you need for it to come a little closer you can i'm going to go slow so you can see how it moves when you're pulling your yarn, it gives you that really great tension. And once you get used to it, you can speed up and it will flow right with you. So if you're a fast crocheter, um, it'll keep up with you. Oops. Um, and if that happens, then you just go back right back here and go ahead and pull that yarn there and just keep right on going. You make this yarn as long as you need to your comfort zone the ring is going to automatically adjust so if that makes sense so as you go just go ahead and keep crocheting and as i said if you're a fast crocheter it will keep up with you it won't get um tight and start to pull if you feel like it does you can just grab a little bit of yarn and pull some yarn through um if you need to but just keep going and it will keep up with you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to slow down now um, to a really slow speed so that you can see what that looks like as it feeds through. I'm going to pull up, give it a little bit of slack, and then continue on. Normal. You just have to get used to not having um, to wrap your yarn around your finger multiple times. You know, some people do it that way. You just have to get used to not doing that anymore. But it works perfectly. Give it the right amount of length. You don't want to make it too short because then your stitches will be tight. Um, just as if you had it wrapped around your finger. So you just keep flowing through. And, you know, you can speed up if you need to. And it'll just flow right with you. I'm, I'm, I'm making mistakes. But that is how your crochet ring works. 
it is a awesome, you know, an awesome item to have, especially if you uh, crochet really fast and you get tired of having that ring burn on there. And it is adjustable. I did get this from um, Timo. My finger's kind of swollen. Excuse me. Um, I did get this from Timo. It is adjustable, so you can make it bigger or smaller depending on how big your fingers are. Um, but yeah, it works really well, guys. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. And so, thanks for watching this tutorial. Get your nice little ring from, they sell them on Amazon as well. Um, I think you can get more than one. Maybe take one and give one as a gift. But, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.